In this episode, we explore Promised Land State Park, which lies in northeastern Pennsylvania's Pocono Mountains. We tour all four campgrounds, the Deus area, and other points of interest. We also enjoy a hike on one of our favorite trails in Pennsylvania, Little Falls Trail, so stay tuned. Promised Land State Park was established in 1905 as Pennsylvania's fourth state park. It covers over 3,000 acres in northeastern Pennsylvania and is surrounded by the Delaware State Forest. The state park rests at an elevation of 1,800 feet in the Pocono Mountains here and has become a center of diverse wildlife and ecosystems. Inside the park office, you'll find some t-shirts and park-themed merchandise, brochures for all of the hikes and campgrounds, and some very friendly park rangers who are happy to help you plan your day at Promised Land State Park. There are four campgrounds in the park, and we'll show you all of them in this video. We're going to start with Lower Lake Campground. Lower Lake Campground has four distinct areas. Beechwood is open from April through mid-October. It has 106 campsites. All sites have 30 and 50 amp electricity, but only potable water. Only some of the sites are pet friendly, so just be careful when you're booking your site if you're going to bring your furry friend with you. The Beechwood area of the Lower Lake Campground is close to a boat launch and has one bathhouse with hot showers. Beechwood is also the closest to the dump station. Fishing is a popular activity at Promised Land State Park. Lower Lake is stocked with three different types of trout, and you may also catch pickerel, sunfish, bass, or a catfish.
Northwoods area of Lower Lake Campground has 48 sites, all of which are pet friendly. There is one non-electric site and the rest are both 30 and 50 amp electric. Again, only potable water and no sewage sites. There is one bathhouse with hot running water. It opens a little later than Beechwood in May instead of April. The Hemlock Hill section is for equestrian camping. It has six sites and is adjacent to equestrian trails. Each campsite has a picnic table, fire ring, and a stall that can accommodate three or four horses. There are no hookups and only a rustic restroom. The last section has 63 sites with only 16 of those with electricity. No pets are allowed in this section. So we're going to do the little falls trail here. It is about a mile long and we'll see some small waterfalls along the creek here. And this is going through what, the Delaware Forest? Yep, this is the Delaware State Forest Brand. You can hear the rushing water from the dam nearby. Promised Land State Park has over 50 miles of trails for you to discover with varying lengths and difficulty ratings. The park office offers a brochure to all of the hiking trails as well as maps. Yeah, a little wet. It did rain last night, so I'll we'll probably come across some muddy areas because we didn't put on our hiking shoes. How pretty that is, though. That's what I like about hiking. Just beautiful little spots. I guess because the water comes through uh, bogs, that's why it has that darker hue that it has. Slippery when wet. Lots of rocks and boulders and roots on the trail. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Like an obstacle course. Yeah, it is like an obstacle course. This trail, when you come to this state park, I would say this trail's a must. You're gonna see a trail that has something different from any other trail in the state of Pennsylvania. I'm not used to seeing ferns everywhere along the trail mixed in with these boulders and just this environment with the moss everywhere. It's just beautiful here. Yeah.
definitely check out this trail. Definitely wear your hiking shoes for this. We're finding a lot of muddy, wet areas on this trail. That rhododendrons everywhere. That's when you know it's a state park or a national park. Let's continue here down the trail. More waterfalls and boulders to see. They bring extra shoes and socks just in case. Of course, they didn't this time. No. They figure we're on a short trail that we're not going to have to worry about this too much, but we were wrong. Let's check this out. It starts here. There are several boat launch areas similar to this one throughout the state park. Look how still the water is, the reflection of the clouds in it. Isn't it beautiful? The Masker Museum is near Pickerel Point Campground and is a must-see. This museum celebrates the accomplishments of the Civil Conservation Corps in and out of Promised Land State Park. Admission to the museum is free. In addition to the museum, you can also take a tour of the CCC buildings around the park. Pick up a copy of the CCC GPS tour brochure at the park office or Masker Museum. This large amphitheater is used by the state park for movies, lectures, and special events. The Deerfield Campground is a rustic one with no hookups. All sites are pet friendly. 
Site 201 is ADA accessible. There are restrooms within the campground, but for a hot shower you will need to use the bathhouse in the Pickerel Point campground. Just outside of Deerfield is a dump station and the park auditorium. Pickerel Point Campground is on a peninsula and has beautiful views. It has 75 campsites and 3 cottages. 12 sites are full hookups. There are also non-electric sites, of which many are designated for tent camping only. A small section of the campground allows pets, and there are a few ADA accessible sites for both RVs and tents. This campground also offers an amphitheater, beach, boat launch, and two bathhouses. Hmm, yes, and the bathrooms are very clean. What a beautiful day it is to be on the water, you know, fishing, having a beer, or a, a soda pop. You want to be careful as you're traveling these back roads around the lakes. There's bear, and there's also deer everywhere. Check out Crane's Nest. The colors are so vibrant here. I find it very stimulating and fascinating. Whitaker Lodge is a large cabin that sleeps eight. It is the perfect lodging if you're looking for privacy. It is on its own small peninsula, away from the other campgrounds and cabins. But we found you. <laughs> the Pines Campground is rustic camping only, with no hookups. Potable water is available, as well as two modern restrooms. There are no showers, but you may use the showers in the day use area. Site 24 is ADA accessible. From the campground, you can walk a small trail to access the beach and picnic area. The day use area of the state park has a playground, sand volleyball court, basketball court, restrooms, and a concession stand. The main picnic area has grills and picnic tables. There's also two pavilions that are reservable for a fee. Unreserved pavilions are free and available on a first come, first serve basis. Water activities at Promised Land State Park are very popular. A public beach is accessible in the day use area. There are also five boat launches at various points throughout the park. South of the day use area is the boat concession, running electric and non-electric ways to explore Promised Land Lake.
bare wallow is the rustic cabin area. There are 12 cabins with a fireplace, refrigerator, stove, and microwave. There is no running water, but the cabins are close to a modern bathhouse. Cabins 9 through 12 are pet friendly, and cabin 9 is also ADA accessible. And here to end the video, we have some beautiful deer just hanging out, having dinner, not giving a care of what I'm doing. They're just going about their business. Can't blame them. It's not like I'm going to do anything other than film them to death. I'm sure they don't mind. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. the Squirrelly here. Thanks everyone for watching this video and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful hit that subscribe button. Take care everyone. <laughs>